EPGD attorneys at law. So what I'm doing here is a program. It's going to be 10 little short videos on how to start your business. And right here in video number one, we want to talk about what it is that you sell. Now, a corollary of that is who are you selling to? And thirdly, and most importantly is how much does it cost? And the reason I think this is really important is because me, Eric, I'm a business lawyer and I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs and I talk to a lot of startups and I'll ask them the question, what do you do? And this is the, this is the 30 second elevator pitch. This is where they need to be able to answer those three questions clearly and concisely. And the problem is that a lot of startups might have an idea, but they haven't really thought through these three questions. So one more time, what do you sell? Who are you selling to? And how do you price it? So there are a couple shortcuts, and that's what I want to talk about in this video to answering those questions. And I've kind of identified four main shortcuts. So shortcut number one is you copy something that you already know how to do. So I'll use me as an example. I used to work for a law firm. I was a junior person in the law firm. And in that law firm, I saw and learned and basically was doing what my bosses told me to do. And I understood that selling legal services typically were either selling on a flat fee for certain types of services or were selling on an hourly basis. And I knew basically how the hourly system worked, keeping track of our time, generating monthly invoices. And so for me, it's a little bit of a cheat code, but I was copying another business, right? I was copying another business model almost exactly, meaning I didn't have to really invent anything. I wasn't coming up with something that didn't exist before. So that's answer number one. Answer number one is you work somewhere, you learn how they do it and you do it yourself. So for example, you work in a restaurant, you learn how they make you know, the restaurant work, you learn how they price their menu and all the things that go along with it and then you open your own restaurant. So again, you're not inventing anything that you haven't learned from somewhere else. Number two, and this is actually one that's very common, especially here in South Florida, because we have a lot of people that are coming in for immigration purposes, actually number two and number three. Number two is you buy an existing business. So you go, you find an existing business, either you do it on your own, or there are business brokers who are excellent at helping you find an existing business. And when you buy that existing business, you're going to buy their business model. And in fact, there might even be part of the negotiation where you say to the seller, hey, seller, I want you to stick around. I want you to teach me and my team. And I want maybe you're going to be the manager for a certain amount of time. Maybe it's a month. Maybe it's a year. And I want to learn from you, seller, to teach me how to run this business. So again, we're not going to reinvent anything. We're going to copy an existing model. Number three is the franchising model. So the franchising model is you're going to buy into a franchising network and essentially it's the business in a box idea. So what you're going to do is you're going to pay a certain amount of startup fee and you're going to get the benefit of having them teach you how to run their business. So let's say I don't know anything about running a sandwich shop, but I buy a Subway sandwich franchise. They're going to send me to school for how to own a Subway shop. And they're going to teach me about the pricing model. They might even control my vendors. There's a lot of benefits and they're going to give me the policy procedures manual. They might even tell me what uniforms my employees have to wear. So again, the idea being I'm going to own this business and I don't need to invent anything. Now, my fourth model is a little bit more of the do it yourself idea where you do market research. So let's say you've never owned a restaurant before and you're not interested in buying a franchise and you're not ex interested in buying an existing business, but what you're gonna do is you're going to study the market. So you're gonna say, okay, I wanna open a pizza restaurant. I'm going to research all the other pizza restaurants in the area. I'm gonna look at how much they're charging. I'm gonna look at how much they're paying their employees. I'm gonna look at how many square footage they have for their office space or for their restaurant. And so basically I'm going to put together my own business plan from researching the competition. Now, of the four that I listed so far, that's probably the hardest, right? The first one is you work in an existing business and you copy what they do. The second is you buy an existing business and copy what they do. The third is you buy a franchise and they teach you what they do. And then the fourth is you research all of the competition and you enter the market on your own. Uh, I think that's probably the most challenging, but again, at the end of this exercise, you need to be able to answer the three questions. What do you sell? Who are you selling to and how much do you sell it for? Uh, and that generally for me guys is gonna be step one in how to build your business. Thank you so much.